Hello everyone, and this time I'm going to be going over the various Digimon with human disguises that we see throughout the Digimon franchise. I'll probably be missing one or two, but you'll have to let me in the comments which ones that I've missed, but I think I've gotten most of them written down for this video. So before we start, obviously there will be spoilers for a lot of the franchise, as some of these are less obvious than others, some of them are ones that you can straight away see that the Digimon is a Digimon with just a weird human disguise, similar to Jesse and James in Pokemon, how you kind of always know who they are when they've got their disguises on. However, some of these are not obvious in any case. Maybe once you know, you can kind of see the, the, the connections there, but when you don't know, it's kind of, it's, it's not obvious in the slightest, or they just look completely different. So be warned, there will be spoilers if you don't know some of these Digimon that have these human disguises. So first of all, we have the obvious ones and the ones we've seen the most recently. We've got Arukenimon and Mummymon, who appeared both in Ghost Game, which is the recent appearance, and of course Digimon Adventure Zero 2. Arukenimon's disguise was a little bit Obviously a little bit, and honestly a little bit less obvious in Ghost Game. Still, if you know that that's a Digimon, you can kind of make the connection that it is a Digimon. It is Arukenimon. But if you didn't know about Arukenimon beforehand, and you, maybe you didn't watch Zero Two, this one's not a super obvious one. Mummymon's a little bit, a little bit, a tiny bit creepier. Also in Ghost Game, we have Felesmon, who is kind of like this demon Digimon, but again, even if you didn't know him, you kind of think he's a little bit suspicious in the way that he appeared, and you kind of just assumed he was a Digimon anyway. But it still sort of counts as a human disguise, because the main characters and the humans in the show didn't notice that it was a Digimon. And obviously, I should have mentioned this earlier, but I'm not going to be counting any of the Digimon that are wearing hoodies, which we mainly see in Digimon Adventure, as in the first season, as they're not really... Uh, super believable disguises. They're kind of just Ogamon and Tentumon in a hoodie and a hat and Palmon in a baby costume and a pram. Not believable in the slightest and not really like mode changes and human disguises that other Digimon have where they more or less still look like different entities altogether even though they're the same. So we've also of course got the Digimon cast in the Cross Wars manga but that's kind of a topic for another video as they kind of all have plot-related disguises, but the main characters already kind of know who they are. But I, I do intend on covering the Cross Wars manga at some point in a video, so I don't want to go over that too much, but it is pretty cool how we have the cast of Digimon with basically human forms. They're not so much disguises as they put on a cool cape or something. They more or less become humans because... If I recall correctly, it's Wizamon's magic. But anyway, that's a topic for another future video at some point. We also have Bakemon and Kokotorimon in the original series of Digimon, where we have them have human disguises, and the Bakemon looks kind of suspicious. The Kokotorimon just looks like a human sea captain, so that one's a little bit more believable. But the Bakemon just, you kind of can tell that something really weird's going on because of the, the weird face the dead inside expression that he has. But anyway, of course, we also have Makuramon, who is the monkey in Digimon Tamers, the monkey Deva, and he has kind of like a human-ish uh, disguise that he uses when he steals Kalimon, and the kids just think he's another boy that kind of just has a weird face. He's actually just hiding his monkey ears behind a hat or something for memory, but it still kind of counts as a human disguise. Then, of course, in Cross Wars, and this is when I guess I, we're going to spoil the ter territory because maybe some people haven't seen Cross Wars, but we have Splashmon, who disguises himself as a girl, a girl human, in Cross Wars, and we've also got Bagaramon, who was reincarnated in Cross Wars into the clock man that we see in Young Hunters. So, also in the same sort of realm of spoiler territory is Cyber Sleuth, which does have various sort of humans being, like, actually Digimon, you find out. So we've got mainly, I won't go over all of them, but the two main ones that come to mind are Kyoko and Rie, who are in disguise, and are Alphamon and Crusadermon, respectively. 
And the last one that I want to go over before I kind of wrap up this video is in the, I think it's the, yeah, it's the first Digimon Tamers movie. We have a Mephistomon who has kind of corrupted a human in a little bit and his face kind of falls off and uh, kind of becomes the Digimon in a similar way that we have Oikawa being Mallow Myotismon in Digimon Adventure Zero Two. Kind of we get a bit of body horror as a human transforms into a Digimon and that's kind of spooky. But in any case, those are the human disguised Digimon that come to mind when I think of them. I'm sure I forgot some. I know there's lots in Cyber Sleuth and maybe that's a topic for another video in itself because there are a lot of Digimon who are being disguising as disguised as humans and it's kind of cool. I've been playing uh, Cyber Sleuth, or replaying Cyber Sleuth rather at the moment and I've just falling in love with the game all over again but again that's another another an, another another topic for a future video so in any case let me know any of the disguises that I forgot about in the comments like this video if you found it fun to watch or listen to and subscribe if you haven't already and of course I'll see you on the next video bye